Let's use the slope formula. The slope formula? <laughs> what is that? Thank you, Mr. Musselman, for slope formula. Oh, I don't want to do none of that. Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Hornet Corner. This week, the seniors marched through their senior walk through the school and had their caps and gown pictures taken. I hope you're having an awesome time on their classroom right now. Oh, I can't believe they're only graduating five weeks from now, man. Man, it's sad to see them go. Also, another reminder that the school year is winding down, but the events are only building up. Oh, this past week we, or no, past two weeks ago? Or a week ago? Something, I think it was like two weeks. All right, something probably, like that. Probably, anyway. probably something like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, we had the honor of premiering the drama performances, and I think they did a great job. Yeah, they did a great job. So we actually had, um, what's, it, what's her name? Um, Emily. Emily, Emily Rodriguez, right? And so she came to interview some of the actors from the performance. So let's move over to her now. Hey guys, today I'm here with some of my fellow drama cast members because we all just performed our show. How do you all think we did? I think we did pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. it. Yeah, we did do good. It was fun. So today I have some questions based off of the show. So some post-show questions to answer. All right. I'll start. What was it like working with the cast? I think it was pretty fun. We all worked well together, and it was nice to have a little community. Yeah, you know, like yeah. you kind of build and grow together until the you know final performance. Right? Yeah, it's like that big family that we all mm -hmm. want to be with. Mm -hmm. Now, what's your favorite part about drama? The having cost. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, just having fun and uh, you know dancing, singing with all your friends, and uh, you know it's always fun. It is fun. If you had a specific role other than your role now, what would it be? Pharaoh. Same. <laughs> I want to be Pharaoh. Either I Pharaoh yeah. or you know, one of the brothers that had those nice big solos. Those, mm. those were always fun songs. Yeah, I would either be Pharaoh or Joseph. Yeah. yeah. I think I would be, be Potiphar. Potiphar. Oh, Potiphar. Yeah, Potiphar would be pretty fun to play. Just I'd that be. sassy <laughs> character. I may be Pharaoh, but I also may be the narrator. Okay. Favorite song in the play. There's a lot to choose from. Mm. One more angel. Yeah, I think those Canaan days. Oh, that one. I love those Canaan days. Those yeah. Canaan days or Benedict Those are really Yeah, Jeremy days. killed it. Yeah. Especially yeah. those solos. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, it's uh, the Brothers Go to Egypt mm. and like Gravel put together. Um, yeah, those two are really good. Yeah, <laughs> like especially when I was singing the Joseph part of that song. I, I liked it. And Who's the Thief? All those Ooh. three. Th who's the Thief? Put together. Pretty fun. Yeah, the instrumentals for those songs are really nice, too. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. One of them that I really enjoyed was the f narrator's solo in Pharaoh's oh. Story. Yeah. Beth Daniela and Bethany did really good on that. I think they did yeah. really good. Now, what's your favorite dance number? I know all the choreographies are really hard to learn, but what's a favorite? Ooh. One More Angel. Yes, it yeah. was One More Angel. <laughs> one, yeah. one More Angel really good. Really good. I like when we added that dance break right after dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hoedown was really good. That was really fun. I think the most satisfying part is when we ended on dead. Oh. Yeah. Die. 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 We ended on yeah. die and it was so clean. Yeah, it was like, that was, was, yeah, that was definitely was really fun. the most fun choreography mm -hmm. of the entire play. Yeah. Now, what's your favorite character in the show aside from your own? Oh, yeah. Um, I was Pharaoh. Yeah. 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 Pharaoh was pretty cool. Pharaoh was pretty and again, really cool. Any of those brothers, you know. Mm -hmm. Emmett and Joseph. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the showstopper. Potiphar as well was just really fun. Yeah, yeah. Potiphar. Funny. And the narrator. The narrator. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say the narrator. narrator. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh and for, uh, um, wasn't it Potiphar's wife? Oh, this mm -hmm. is Oh, yeah. Potiphar. That was a good a little dance. Yeah. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> and now the final question. If the shows were to continue, what scene do you think would be the biggest showstopper in the show? Sparrow. Go, go, Joseph. Sorry. Or one, one more angel, Pharaoh, mm -hmm. or one more angel. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. those were our big um, mm -hmm. dance ones. Yeah, like mm -hmm. one more angel, Go Go Joseph, Pharaoh. And Pharaoh was a big showstopper. Song yeah. of the King Song would be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Song of the King. Those three would Always be good. the biggest ones. And those are the questions that we have today. Thank you, cast, for joining me. Mm -hmm. Back to you, Troy. Let's congratulate the Cantares for the wonderful performance at NED this past Wednesday. Absolutely, and speaking of music, join us at the high school musical, no, nah, just the high school music recital to celebrate our students' many music talents this Wednesday, April 27, 7 p.m. All right, all right, y'all gotta go check that out. Also, 
Two big things are also happening this Sunday, including the car wash fundraiser the cheer team is hosting in the parking lot from 10 to 2 p.m. All right, and afterwards, make sure to head over to the Laurel, Laurel, geez, my English, Laurel Skate Center for some roller skating fun from 1 to 4 p.m. Thanks to the freshman class. Yes, sir. You guys should all check that out. Anyway, if you haven't registered for the high school girls retreat next Saturday, head over to Teams for the sign up link. Now, as far as upcoming games on Monday, we have Varsity Boys Baseball game here at SAA at 430 and an away girls varsity softball game at 4 30. okay and on tuesday y'all gotta check this out come check us out the boys varsity volleyball team game at 4 30 as well and all of the teams will really appreciate your school spirit and staying for the games to support us i also heard that we have a special interview with a few of the volleyball team members christian and sandro no way praise Shane, i see you over there all right <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hornets, welcome, welcome to our first episode of The Double, Double Scoop. Scoop. This is the first episode of our we new weekly series. Yes, it is, the very first episode. And our first guest is Alessandro Munoz. Woo! Welcome, welcome, how are you doing today? I'm doing very good today, thank you. Glad to hear it. Alessandro Munoz is actually one of the captains for our volleyball team and a junior at Spencerville Adventist Academy this year. And uh, we have one more surprise special guest for today. Michael Tuk Tuk. Here he comes. Michael Tuk Tuk is a senior and uh, plays on the volleyball team for Spencerville Adventist Academy. We're very Academy. proud of him. We're very proud of him because we're seniors, you know, but also proud of Alessandro. All right. So to start off today, uh, we, we just want to ask one simple question first, and uh, we'll, let, we'll let Alessandro answer this one. Um, we know you had a game last night with Jewish Day. Uh, it was a fight, we'll say. It was a fight. What do you think you could have improved on that game? So I think the main thing that we need to improve on is communication. We, we kind of struggle to, to learn, like to talk and to do that in the court. I also think another thing, like a more technical aspect, is passing, like bumping, like getting, getting serves up is like a challenging receiving that. And I think the last thing is that to yesterday, we, we tried out a new rotation that we're going to be going forward with, and we were kind of confused working with that. So I think it's just more experience and more practice, and we'll get better. Just a lot of smaller mistakes. Definitely a good answer, a good answer, and those, those are good improvements, they sound like. All right, we'll pass the next one on over to Jordan to ask Michael about. So, Michael, what do you feel are the strengths of our team? Like, what do you, what do you feel makes us a championship contender in our league? I think... Our whole team bonded over like pretty quickly. Yeah, even at the start, uh, even at um, tryouts and practices, we all bonded like very quickly. More of like a family, and these fries are kind of good. So, yeah. I like that. I like that family. It's a team, very team feeling. Mm -hmm. Teammates very close. That's always it's great always to good hear. to see a mm -hmm. team coming together like a family. To really know? gel and it bond. Is. It's a great, it's a great feeling. I know. I, I was on basketball for a couple of years. But so I understand. What I under, my, from my understanding, it's our win category is looking a little lackluster. All right. So what I want to hear is what improvements can our team make in order to make that push and make that championship run. But they just talked about bumping and setting in the first question there. N past that, beyond that, what can us as a student body do to ah. help this to help this squad? and take us to that next level. What can we do? Let, let's hear from Alessandro on this one. It would be so fantastic if, all, if everyone could just show up to the games and support us. I feel like that would be great. We have our first home game on Thursday here against Appleton, and anyone who can make it should make it. It's going to be great. Agreed, agreed. We're if expecting a great performance out of our squad. So we want all of you to show up, even if this is airing afterwards, show up to the next in person at Spencerville game. Uh, one more question along those lines. When you are at Spencerville, uh, in terms of playing at a home game, do you think that you'll have any advantages, you know, our court, you're used to it, something along those lines? Uh, just, just expand on that a little bit. I think it definitely will bring an advantage. We haven't had a home game yet. We've always been away somewhere else. So I think that it'll be really, 
I think it'll really bring an advantage to our team. I think we'll be able to focus and really enjoy ourselves out on the court. Mm. Agreed, agreed. All right. Well, we thank you guys for coming on the show today. Uh, I know it was a little bit, uh, you know, in the middle of your lunchtime, and you seem to be enjoying whatever we're you're eating over there. We're sorry to interrupt. Very sorry to interrupt. Very but sorry. We appreciate your time. Uh, and uh, well, with that, that's the end of our first episode of the, the Double, Double Scoop. Scoop. We'll thank see you for you watching. We'll see you next week. Have Take a care, good Hornets. One. Also, because some of you need a reminder, let's make sure that you order your food the week before. 8 a.m. on Monday if you want to eat. Speaking of food, just another reminder to check out the Freshman's Fundraiser every Friday at Rita's if you haven't already. Oh yeah, now I feel like having some ice cream, bro. Ice cream? Ice cream, that's what you sell it. That's Isn't it Italian it. ice? I or do they do both? I don't know, but important note, make sure you bring your flyer with you, a physical copy, please. Last but not least, we want to give a happy birthday to both Miss Serrano and Jacob Fletcher, who have birthdays this week. That's dope. And stay tuned for next week's episode where we will have a special edition interview with guess who? Huh? Mr. Cooksey. Hey, hey, that's my man. Honestly. Anyway, this was the Hornet Corner with your favorite hosts and replacement, Osandro Neve, Christian, and Troy. Thanks for watching.